just win, baby. Hello everyone, my name is Gunny. Today, let's talk about Overwatch, because we haven't done that recently. Um, something happened, like, a week or two ago that I never got to touch on because I was talking about the Halloween stuff, and I was also wrapping up some other videos. But it's something I've wanted to get off my chest, and I thought, why not now, let's just do it. And that is the apparent leak of Sombra. And if you have any semblance of an idea of what the Overwatch community has been going through, there's been an ARG going on pretty much since the game launched, maybe a, little, a month or so after it launched, where there have been a bunch of ridiculously hidden like messages and easter eggs in the game. Like, there was one in the slipstream of Trace's hurdle highlight intro, but only on... King's Row, and only wearing a specific skin, I think. Like, it's that kind of ridiculousness that uh, uh, Blizzard has been going to for this Sombra character. And for a while, people were just like, oh, this is so great. They're, we're doing an ARG to figure out who the uh, who Sombra is, and when we figure out they're gonna release her, right? No, that's just not the case, because right now, people are just fucking sick of the ARG. They just want it to be over. They want Sombra. They've figured out enough, I reckon. I think we deserve it. They, they deserve it, at least. But then, at some point on Reddit, I think, a picture was leaked of a site that linked... I, I can't recognize the site. Of a picture of what might be Sombra. And from the looks of it, it looks kind of legitimate, but still, we don't know. Blizzard hasn't come out and um, confirmed it because Blizzard hates leaks. And they won't say anything about it. But to me, it looks pretty legitimate. Like, the art style is on point. It looks like they're... It's in the Hero Select on Numbani. And, um, yeah, I think... If this is the design they go with, I think that would be amazing. Because she looks fan-freaking-tastic. She looks like an utter badass. So, yeah. And there's already people fan making fan art of her, which is wonderful. So, I feel like there's... Barely any information here, but there's enough that we can break down and try and theorize what she might be about. It says at the top of the heading, she will be hacking her way into the build later tonight. So we can already tell that she is not hacking, otherwise she would already be out and I wouldn't be making this video. But she is a hacker. And what she hacks, we'll get into in a sec, but at the bottom there's like a paragraph that is cut off because it's taken like... The, the photo is taken of a screen, not like an, a screen cap. So we'll just read off what can be seen right now. It says, Sombra is one of the world's best and most notorious hackers. As a child, she lost everything during the Omni Crisis. That's it for that line. And then it continues with, with computers to survive. She worked with the Los Muertos gang, which, in, in Mexico, which, if you remember, that is the gang that Soldier 76 was fighting in Del Rado in the Hero Cinematic. Executing increasingly more, and then it cuts off, and then on the next line says, until she attracted too much unwanted attention and had to go underground. So that's probably the reason why she wasn't in the starting lineup in character, in lore. Uh, during that time, she upgraded, cuts off, and then it says, and was recruited by the something. And it, it, like you can barely see it, but I think there's a T. I think Sombra got picked up by Talon. And I would not be surprised because she's wearing sort of like similar colors to Widowmaker. I'm only just noticing this now that they're wearing similar colors to Widowmaker. And, um,. Reaper has a voice line where she acknowledges Sombra. Where's Sombra when you need her? And Reaper has also been working with Talon. We've seen that in the uh, recall cinematic. So we get that she is probably Mexican. Um, and that's pretty much all we can get. She's a hacker. She lost everything in the Omni Crisis. She's from Mexico. And she got picked up maybe by Talon. So she's part of a now trio of evil people, which is Reaper, Widowmaker, and now probably Sombra. So what will Sombra be doing? I think she's going to be a defense hero. And because, uh, hmm, she could also be offense. She probably isn't a tank, probably isn't a support, 
Though she could be a support at this point, I have no idea. But then numbers would be uneven, but unless she's a tank, numbers will be uneven anyway. Like between each subclass sort of deal. But which could she be hacking? Because is she, if, if this is to be true, she appears to, she could be hacking something. I'm not, I wasn't sure what for a while, but after like thinking about it for a while, she could hack characters, like other heroes. Even though some of the heroes use straight up magic, she might still have an ability that might lock out one of their abilities. Like if she used it on Tracer, it could lock out Blink, which would be horrific for a Tracer. Um, she could like block out uh, Reinhardt's barrier, which also would be a nightmare. Now that I'm thinking about it, if she were to lock out abilities, that might have to be her ult. I'm, I don't know. But we can see a f a one more thing that I'm just while I'm studying this picture as I make a video. She has some things on her belt that look like to be little triangular throwable things. Maybe she throws it on that and it could like stun something. Um, I don't know. She could like stun a Torbjorn Torrent. That's one of the things that I was thinking maybe she could like turn a Torbjorn Torrent against the other team but then again if that was the case she would be such a situational hero that she would barely even be played which is you know it's a thing there are also a few voice lines that i discovered from reaper that may suggest that sombra can use stealth whether that's complete inv invisibility or just partial like you can see like a blurry outline of her i'm not sure but these do suggest that she could use a ability, ability that makes her hidden. Because I haven't heard these uh, voice lines said in any situation in Overwatch yet, so I assume these are being um, reserved for Ana. Ana? The fuck? <laughs> um, reserved for Sombra. Enemy detected. I can't see you, but I know you're there. Someone's sneaking around here. But when can we expect to see Sombra? I honestly believe she will be announced at BlizzCon. Because BlizzCon is only like a month away, less than a month away, I'm pretty sure. And they might have a little character intro like they did for Ana. Um, telling us about her. I wouldn't be surprised at either if they had a new cinematic. If it was about Sombra, that'd be a great way to introduce her. Because people, for the longest time, have wanted to know who Sombra was, even before this whole leak thing. It's not like a whole Anna thing, because we had originally we thought Anna was Sombra. And there are definitely hints. We can confirm there are hints in the game to future heroes, because Anna was hinted at in uh, Temple of Anubis. When you're attacking in the starting zone, there's like a file on a table with Anna on it, but she has her mask on. And people thought she was Sombra, so whatever. They're probably, there's probably a bunch of hints out there. We just don't know who it could be. I really hope they stick with this design if this is real though. Because she looks just wonderful. <laughs> But anyway, I'm, I'm still debating what her ult could possibly be, but right now I'm drawing blanks. I, I have no idea. We know she probably has throwables. She, we know she shoots an Uzi. We know she hacks things. And she's from Mexico. That doesn't really add anything. <laughs> but anyway, at this point I'm rambling. I'm not adding anything to the discussion right now. So anyway, that's it. If yeah, is there anything I missed about Sombra, I hope you will let me know. And I hope we can all get a better idea about what Sombra is about. And hopefully see you in the game very soon. But anyway, until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of whatever the hell it is you were overwatching. Bye-bye.